when I was in my final year, my tutor said, go back to the films that you love and just look through the credits. And that's what I did, and that's when I started to see visual effects coming up. The first movie I ever saw in the movie theater was E.T. So that kind of blew my mind as a, you know, growing up in a small little village in Ireland, we didn't have a whole lot of exposure to culture and things like that. So I really wanted to uh, work in film at that point, but I didn't know how to go about that. And just kind of was clicking everything like, oh, what does this do? Like really, I got really excited about it. And I realized that it's visual maths. Um, Cause I always loved maths and then seeing something where I can create something really, really pretty and really nice with being able to get the technicality behind it. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> so I was really happy. Previous to that, I was just like, director, producer, those were the familiar roles for me, um, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do. I feel uh, inspired from pretty much every woman I work with in the industry, and, um, and a lot of people from different backgrounds and um, I really am um, inspired by their passion and their sacrifices to get the best work done and to progress in this industry and to pr produce the most beautiful images for different movies. So I didn't have particularly have any female R&D people in VFX that I knew personally. I guess there were some around but I've not encountered them. Um, my colleagues in general were all pretty great. Everyone was quite young and enthusiastic and we all helped each other out anyway. A um, friend who's in the year below me, um, who's also a woman in visual effects, who, and she wants to go into creature effects. Um, and she went to me, you know, you're the only woman who I can look up to in at uni because there aren't any other girls who are pursuing the same thing as I want. So there isn't anybody who's graduated who I can look to and be, oh, I want to be like them when I get to that point. The second HR manager that I worked for at Framestore was a really inspiring woman who absolutely believed that she was as capable as anyone else in this world, male, female or otherwise. And um, she taught me a lot about how to influence other people but also how to craft your own career and not let people tell you you not you can't do things. I started having kind of ladies lunches with the kind of girls on my team just to kind of make sure everyone's got something to talk about because there have been some instances with not exactly harassments but a lot of guys when they're used to working to a normal male environment don't always seem to know how to treat women that they, I mean, either they think there's some sort of special thing they have to do something different with or they get a little bit um, overly familiar sometimes. If you want to succeed in, in the VFX industry or, you know, any field, make sure you, you keep learning, keep developing yourself and never stop and never give up. I think if anything seems a bit odd to you, don't be afraid to speak out and make sure it can be addressed because that'll, it could, chances are some of the other guys are thinking that's a bit weird too. Um, so don't just accept it as kind of, oh, this is normal, this is what it's like. If it's making you uncomfortable, then it's not the way it should be. Finding your voice, I think, is the most important thing, no matter what department you're in, so that women can be heard and, and our opinions can be, you know, taken into account and valued. And I think that, you know, that always helps. To try and think about our cultures as businesses, all of the visual effects studios in Soho in London this year are participating in National Inclusion Week. And between us, we're running a series of workshops, inspiring talks, screenings, to try and just get those conversations happening. And to try, you know, my biggest hope is that I walk into the kitchen during National Inclusion Week and hear a couple of artists talking about anything from the you know, LGBT community to women to the gender pay gap to whatever it is, I just hope that it starts a conversation because that's the only way we're going to change things is if everyone perceives the diversity issue as their issue because genuinely that's what it is.